all this side of the mountain was cornfields and, and pasture. And this is one of the house foundations. Look at the size of this um, rock right here. This is that's probably 300 pounds of rock. It's that long and that wide. And there's another large one underneath it. You just wonder, how in the world? My God. Well, the best we can tell from local folklore, uh, the late 17 and then early 1800s, and this was what was called Old Jack Town. This is where it all, uh, the people who didn't have a whole lot of money, uh, land was probably granted to them, my guess is. Um, and no one really knows for sure, but um, I, I think that would be a fun project for WNL, um, either archaeology or history, to come up. And uh, one of these days I'm going to try to open this up, because uh, all this land here was a village a long time ago. Over there, I'll show you in just a minute, there's actually a path, the remnants of a path that go down to the creek, and that's how they got the water. They, and the lady of the house probably usually was tasked with cleaning and uh, cooking, and that's where she got her water from, was down in the creek there. And when I was a little boy here, uh, 50 years ago exactly, I was 11 when I first came up here, and that path was still prominent. You can barely see it now, but it's you can still see where it, it was. There's another old cabin ruin that uh, is very poignant because uh, it still has the flowers in front of it, the um, yucca plant. And then what's really poignant are the daffodils. And you know that some pioneer lady planted those flowers. If you look very carefully, you can somewhat see see the, the remnants of that little path. It's very hard to see, but you can see how the contour, and 50 years ago, this was still, that the path was this wide. You can kind of see it um, coming down the hill right here at, at this angle. And it hangs us off down toward where that limb is highlighted by the sunlight. And then back to the creek, and, and that's how they brought the water up for cooking and cleaning and everything else. Because that hole in the ground, they usually had a root cellar oh. where they kept their food through the winter in the summer. And then the pile of rocks is usually the chimney. And, and that's it there. And you can see those yucca plants down there in the front yard. And they grew those sort of like an aloe plant to use for burns and, and uh, itches, mosquito bites and things like that. But uh, this was all open land. It, it's, it's wonderful to imagine what it must have been like up this high on the side of the mountain with an open field.